this fructose 1,6-phosphate, but a bisphosphate, will go on and bind onto pyruvate kinase and activate that molecule. And that will increase the rate at which we actually produce those ATP molecules that are needed by our cell. So if we look at this process, we see that increase in the concentration of ATP or alanine can cause a negative feedback loop and inhibit the activity of pyruvate kinase. But if we have low amounts of ATP, that means we'll have high amounts of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, which creates a positive feedback loop and stimulates the pyruvate kinase to carry out its process. So now let's summarize our results. And let's begin by assuming that we're not exercising, so our skeletal muscle tissue is at rest. And what that means is we'll have plenty of ATP molecules to go around and so the energy charge of the cell will be high. The ratio of ATP to A and P will be high. So if that is high, then that means ATP, the excess ATP, will go on and bind onto that phosphofructokinase. And what that will do is it will inhibit the activity of that enzyme. And if that enzyme's activity is inhibited, it will stop producing the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. And that will increase the concentration of fructose 6-phosphate. And this increase, by Lachitlier's principle, will cause the increase in this glucose 6-phosphate. And that creates a negative feedback loop and inhibits the activity of hexokinase. Now, if these two enzymes are inhibited, then these two pathways are inhibited, and that will basically turn off the process of glycolysis. On top of that, the ATP will also bind onto pyruvate kinase and inhibit the third process, irreversible process of glycolysis. And so, when we have high amounts of ATP, all three irreversible processes are inhibited, and glycolysis stops producing ATP. But on the other hand, if we're exercising very vigorously, we're going to have a low energy charge value because of this process. We're going to produce many ATP molecules as these ATP molecules are continually used up by the cells. And so we have a lowering in the energy charge ratio and these AMP molecules will go on and bind onto phosphofructokinase and that will stimulate the activity of these molecules. It will produce many more of these fructose 1,6-bisphosphates which will create a positive feedback loop with this pyruvate kinase. And so that will essentially cause the production of many more ATP molecules and that will help meet the need of these ATP molecules by the contracting skeletal muscle tissue.